Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, and Real Illusion Forum, where I'm spending most of my time nowadays on the internet. Um, I thought I'd had a tutorial on this, but I'm going to do this real quick because somebody asked on the forum about this. You could export uh, the morphs. You can't export avatar morphs. We've talked about that many times. You can only do one at a time because they're baked in. But for clothing items and for props and for other things, you can export from Daz through Transformer into Character Creator the morphs. And how do we do that? Well, here's a leather jacket that's right here. So we would go here to File and then export and then we would you know pick something i've already done this to make the things uh, quicker but i'm going to show you how to do it so now you're going to go and export these morphs so how do you find what morphs to export well you go into the item itself so this is the leather jacket and you can just click this expansion and see what morphs there are available in this particular case there's some there's always some adjustment on clothing items there's these adjustment you don't need these adjustments you can do that inside of character creator but here's some very valuable morphs on opening the jacket in various ways so how do we get these morphs over here well you go here to edit <coughs> excuse me morph export rules and on the morph export rules you have you can add rules you just add a, another rule you notice that if there's anything that doesn't match the rule it gets baked in so if you don't have a rule, then you're just going to get baked with whatever morph you've actually had in Daz. But in this particular case, we want to match all those those leather jacket underscore 3018 dot open. And I have to spell it exactly with the right case and everything. Now, if I just put the word leather here, it would export all these morphs. And you might say, well, that's great. I'll get them all. But then they're really hard to deal with. And there's a lot of morphs here that aren't useful at all. So in this particular case, I just want the open ones, so I want to specify as much as I need just to pick off those open ones. So I don't have to say all this. All I have to do is say, give me anything that starts with this. But again, if you wanted everything for this leather jacket, you could just say leather here, or you could just say L-E-A or something, and it would export it. Uh, but then, like I say, you're going to get just a ton of morphs that aren't going to be useful to you at all. So anyway, that's all. Then you accept, and, and you do it. I'm going to cancel that because I've already done this. And then we're going to come into Character Creator, and we just bring it in as normal. And after we've brought it in, those morphs, if you select that item, are right there on the side there. And you can use them just like you would use any morph. Uh, so you can open up the, the jacket in various ways, morph it in various ways. And these morphs will also come across into iClone so that uh, you can animate these morphs um, you still have to fit the jacket properly but there but there you go so there's all the morphs and that's how you get clothing morphs over and then this item of clothing can be saved out and the morphs uh, will indeed be saved with it so that's uh, how you do it folks hopefully this helps and we'll see you on the forums